All right, let's start this. Just like any trip, you gotta start somewhere. So we just got dropped off and we're about to start this crazy adventure on the PCT. And none of us truly understands what we're gonna get ourselves into. We know that there's gonna be snow, <laughs> but never knew that it was gonna be this much snow. Welcome to the Gold Rocks, yeah buddy. <laughs> Day one of uh, the PCT, um, Washington. Um, we don't really have an intro for this, but it's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's amazing. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Oh! That's it! Yeah. Oh. So, I thought that was a cloud. That right there. Mount Adams. It looks like a cloud. That is epic. So cool out here. The sun is actually coming out. And it is looking beautiful out here. A uh, little snow here and there. Uh, we're about like 45, almost 5,000 feet. And it's uh, July 3rd, 2022. And it is pretty epic out here. It's beautiful. But this is the first time that we get a chance to look at uh, Mount Adams. Pretty cool. So really cool. Yeah. Now we just ate some lunch and uh now it's time for some some spikes. Seeing that uh we're getting pretty close to uh the snow. So we're gonna put on some spikes, some, uh, micro spikes, and uh, give them like a little whirl. <laughs> Try to have some fun with them. There's really uh, no markers, no sign of the trail. We're hiking in. Thank goodness for uh, like GPS. Uh, so can't really see the trail. So we're just hiking. <laughs> Wherever the GPS tells us to go. Just giving you an idea of how deep the snow really is. Down there is a like where the ground is, and we're way up here. So, I mean, I'll go down here. And Nick is clearly. Higher than me. It's pretty deep. We're walking on snow. All right, going sledding. Yeah. Who's next? Bill puts the you and me. Another opportunity to go sledding. Oh, okay. That was sledding. Nah. 
Wow. Woo. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> All right, part two, trying to slide. I go sled it. Okay, here we go. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> oh! Ah, that, that was satisfying. <laughs> yeah. Alright. We got John and Nick coming down. No, it's not really that slippery. <laughs> Whee! Whee! <laughs> Slow down! <laughs> Shit. No, 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 I don't like it. <laughs> Alrighty, yeah. Yeah. Coming in hot. <laughs> How was it, John? Round two. Nice. It's much better. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> don't, don't use that, Ed. Ah. Oh. That was much better with the ice axe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. No blue siding with tracking poles. <laughs> Well, we finally made it to camp. We're toast. We're beat. Um, we did about 12-ish miles. And we're just tired. Um, if I look at my watch, I got like 36,000. I mean, um, yeah, 36,000 steps. Uh, so that just lets you know, like, we just kept on going off, off the trail, on the trail. Nothing was direct. It's 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 tough. I mean, <laughs> everything's covered in snow. But one thing is, uh, we definitely had a lot of fun uh, sledding and using the ice axe, and it's just beautiful out here. So uh, we're gonna finish up dinner and um, call it a night. Yeah, buddy. All right, new intro. Day one. There's snow. Good morning. It's uh, day number two, and uh, it's uh, pretty cold outside. But the snow is actually frozen, so it's gonna make it a lot easier for us to uh, hike with our micro spikes. So that's a perk. But beautiful views. You can see Adam. Uh, we're packing up, and we're gonna uh, crank out some more miles. Micro spikes. Making it look easy. Nice 
so far we've been hiking along uh, Mount Adam and it's just beautiful I mean, you can see it right behind me and uh, it's a good way to start the day so beautiful it's pretty out here too the views for days so um, we're crossing this uh, in um, the morning, it's like six, six o'clock, six thirty, <laughs> and you can just see that everything's frozen, and the water's just kind of like running right under us. Pretty cool stuff. So we're kind of fortunate that everything's still frozen, or else um, you'd be hiking through some water in the morning. <laughs> Mount Rainier. Goat rocks. And Mount Rainier. Whee! <laughs> nice. Yeah! Yeah, we just found an epic campsite. As soon as you uh, come down these waterfalls and go across like the little stream area. Prime real estate. Gotta check it out. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, we're getting water. And uh, if you look behind us, there's plenty of water, but um, if you walk too close and the way that this pond is formed, you might be able to just fall right in. So nice. we're um, cutting out a little hole and that's how we're going to get our water right next to the little pond. Pretty cool. So uh, we made it to camp and uh, set up everything and... Uh, had a nice little fire. It was that's really nice. Um, it's, it's cold out here, so kind of like just hanging out at the fire. We did 16 miles today through the snow, which is very challenging. So that's pretty good for us. And um, we got a long day tomorrow, but it's been it's been a great trip so far. And can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be a lot of snow. You know, not to mention. Today is uh, the 4th, so happy 4th of July, and um, so it's, it's pr pretty cool that uh, we're out here, and uh, we actually became really good friends uh, like three years ago on the Colorado Trail during the 4th of July, so it's kind of, kind of pretty cool that views, we're man. still hanging out and doing these epic trails and trips and stuff. So, over and out, Coach Bill, 315. Good morning, it's uh, day number three, July 5th, and uh, there's still snow. So, first thing in the morning, uh, after packing up and everything, um, we're putting on our micro spikes because it's obvious there's snow. All right, let's see how the trail goes. I do the perfect. Can you uh, can you hold the sign saying your height, please? <laughs> so this kind of gives you an idea um, the snow drifts that we're walking in. So this is why you can't find the trail. Every once in a while, you get lucky. <laughs> but that has to be 
15, 20 feet high. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that is pretty steep. 45, you think? 45. Angle. Close. This far. Just found this epic view of the goats in about a day. We're gonna be up there. Pretty stellar. Uh, definitely excited. There's a nice little drop off right there too. And apparently it's gonna be like a 50 degree angle uh, when you're up there hiking. Yeah. Woo. Looking for the goats. So if you didn't notice, we're um, at camp. I uh, decided to uh, lay it up. And um, it was raining a little bit, so... Um, it was a good time to uh, put up our tents and uh, relax a little bit. So one cool thing about John that you guys do not know, he is uh, um, the mosquitoes do not bother him at all. <laughs> it's my superpower, man. <laughs> it's his superpower. <laughs> That's a pretty good choice myself. It is a good choice. Oh, son of a... One, one got me. People. I'd much rather than ah. call mosquitoes. <sighs> yeah, it's not the obvious choice. Like, you know, <laughs> all, all these other things are usually the first go-to, but <laughs> mosquito invisibility is paying dividends today. <laughs> are there mosquitoes here? <laughs> They're just... So, oh, God. I hate them. It looks like Christmas. Hey. Nothing like beating a nice hot meal um, out there in the woods. And this is where we're staying. So pretty. And up there, you can see our tents. Right there's mine hidden. And then you got John's. Uh, this is day three. Uh, we did about 11 ish miles over uh, 33,000 steps. Still, once again, doing a lot of uh, unnecessary uh, uh, finding the trail and going up and down. Yeah, a lot of steps. But we're uh, on it at night, about a little like 8.30. And uh, we're going to be uh, hitting the goats tomorrow, depending on the weather. So, alright, good night. Good morning. Today's uh, day number four, and uh, we're gonna tackle the goats today. So let the goats begin. I am ready. But we're packing up, and we're gonna be uh, on our way. So let's do it. We're uh, climbing up this random uh, snow mountain so we can uh, practice self-arresting before uh, doing our traverses on a goat. But you can see that it's pretty steep. <laughs> yeah, nice work, John!
Pretty easy. It, um, it doesn't hold as much as you think. No, because it's kind of like loose, right? So this one thing that we're noticing, we're trying to go down and you put your shoulder into this and it digs into the snow, but it's almost so melted that you're cutting right through it. John, good luck, man. Okay, so John's going down, he has his ice axe ready, and then he's gonna lean over to the side and digs right in. Nice. See how he, he leans his shoulder right in? That's exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. See the tutorial down there? You want to lay on it with your chest and your weight here and here and dig them both in. Gotcha. And it goes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, dude, that was Bam. Nice. He does it with ease. He does everything with ease. <laughs> oh, I guess it's not broken. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. So it looks like we're going all the way up for a while. A little slippery on this thing. Oh, there's cool waterfalls up there too. It is steep. It's really steep. That is steep right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the views. I guess I don't have to worry about coming around the corner and like the big traverse scares me now. Like, <laughs> yeah. By the time I get there, I'm just gonna be like, F it. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. This is why we do it. Yeah. All that hard work before eight o'clock. <laughs> Look at that. Look how small they are. This is beautiful. But it looks like a, we got a crazy traverse up ahead. They're scoping it out right now. So we're gonna be traversing somewhere along here till we get up to there and probably up to around here. Then I'm not sure where we're going. The only other thing I'm thinking is yeah. it goes right here. Well, I was thinking, is that look at there's a big cornice? Yeah. All right. So, we're going across, traversing, pretty sketchy, straight down, but the snow is packing in pretty good, we got our ice axes, we got our um, micro spikes on, and I haven't looked down, but... <laughs> It's pretty sketchy. Good work, John. Whoa. Good work, Nick. John, on a one to scale, one to ten, how scary is that? It's not on the scale. <laughs> It's freaking nuts. What do you think, Nick? Yeah.
All right, so looks like we're gonna be going up. Yeah, buddy. We came up all along this right here. Finally made it up to here. Pretty cool. And that's Nick. Sometimes you just gotta go. Uh, he's doing his part in nature, hydrating stuff. And we have a sign over here. Kiss bus, pass, elevation, six. 1473 nice <sighs> beautiful so here's the thing <laughs> Nick's going down Oh, he did that he did that pretty good. Nice job, Nick. Well the reason why we're going down is because we don't want to walk around this whole fish bowl and we have to make it all the way to Um trying to see if the camera can pick it up. Somewhere over here. Uh yeah, I think so. Good work, John. Practicing, dude. <laughs> nice job, dude. Nice freaking job. Good work, man. That's what it's all about. Cool. All right. No way, man. If you want the ultimate, you got to be willing to pay the ultimate price. Looks like we have some more sledding. <laughs> All right, from the very top. Can you see those guys? They're there. Give me an idea where we just came from. We up there. We uh, kind of badasses <laughs> dropped in, came over, all the way down. <laughs> so awesome. Yeah. One obstacle after another. Whoa. Yep, so it looks like we're just gonna have to walk through this.
from waterfall. One obstacle after another. So we finally uh, made it to, I don't even know where we are, this point. <laughs> um, we're still on the goats and it's raining so we're all putting on our rain gear because uh, hypothermia is a is a thing so we got a rain gear and um, hopefully um, this stops in a little bit but it doesn't look too good it's coming down even, even more as I talk well made it to the bypass and it is freaking nasty up here this is nasty I don't know if the camera can even pick me up uh, it's nasty up here I'm not sure what we're gonna do uh, might have to take the bypass this this is pretty gnarly stuff up, up here can't see anything yeah this is pretty sketchy. And then we go to this. And here's that crazy traverse that we're doing in the rain, in the clouds. And this goes down, 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 down. And then off some random cliff. But uh, Nick and I, we made it to this part. And uh, we're gonna see what's next. Ooh, this is definitely sketchy. It's pretty cold up here too. It's raining. A little scary too. If it did, no. <laughs> Woo. That'd be scary. Yeah, I wanna. This is the stuff that we're going on. Uh, I I grab those bushes. It's this goes slow. Make sure that you have each step. You you can one hundred percent down from there. So you feel more comfortable just getting back. Yeah, you might want to just go straight across. Looks like uh, you can make it straight across and then come down. This is, is it? Can you, can you make it over there or no?
Hey, uh, good morning. Uh, today is uh, July 7th, and um, I believe it's day number five of this epic adventure. Uh, I kind of woke up a little sore from yesterday. Yesterday was tough, but we uh, eventually made it through. That was some of the most gnarliest uh, trail I've ever hiked on in my entire life. Pretty scary, but um, today's been great. Um, it hasn't rained on us, which is always nice. And it's a beautiful day, and we're putting in some miles. I think we got about 12 miles uh, till we get to our resupply. Whoa, morning, Nick. Morning. How are you, too? <laughs> Hello. Nick, I think you're so hot. Will you eye at me? <laughs> wow. Great view out here. Yeah. And over here is Shoe Lake. It's all frozen. And we just came up and around this mountain. And then we're going to be traveling up through here and traverse probably to about somewhere over there. Just made it to the ski lift. It's pretty cool. And, um, yeah, that was exciting. So instead of uh, taking the trail, we decided to take the slopes. So we're gonna go sledding. And, uh, this brings me, brings up another purpose for Reflectix. Alright, we're going. Go very slow. Oh, they're doing better than I am. Oh, there we go. Picking up speed. All right. 